Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix crashing, freezing, and not launching or starting issues with FC24 on your Windows 10 or 11 computer. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is just simply make sure Windows is up to date. I know this sounds simple, but Windows does update DirectX and stuff like that through Windows updates now. So to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, update and security, and then just click on the check for updates button. Once you've updated Windows, or if there aren't any updates, then just simply restart your computer as well, and then try FC24 again. You wouldn't believe how many times just doing a simple restart would fix problems with games not starting and stuff like that. So you might be done with this video already. If that weren't the issue, then the next thing that you're going to want to do is also make sure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. Now, if you're not sure how to do this, I will put some guides in the description below. But if you also have Easy Gamer Utility, which is a program that I created that you can, obviously, if you want to help support me, you can purchase the pro version, which is currently on offer, but ends in 18 hours. Or if you want to be an absolute legend, you can get the support version. But anyway, there is also a free version if you don't want to um, purchase the pro. So once you've got Easy Game Utility, go to Graphics. It will then say your graphics card. You can then click on Driver Download, and this will take you to the manufacturer's website, so AMD in my case, where I can then grab the latest driver for my graphics card. So once you've installed the latest driver for your graphics card, the next thing that you're going to want to do is go to the Clean tab in the Easy Game Utility, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then click on clean next to your graphics card as we want to clear the old cache files for the graphics card. So I'll go ahead and click on clean and then OK next to AMD. And you can see there it's now cleared out all those cache files. The next thing that you're going to want to do is stay in Easy Game Utility and go to the top and then click on clean next to the launcher that you are trying to launch FC24 in. So I've got it in the EA app, that's where I purchased it, or in fact I'm using the trial at the moment. Go ahead and click on clean, and then OK, and then once that's cleared those files, you can now go ahead and try launching the game again and see if that helped. If that didn't help, don't panic because there's still so many more methods, troubleshooting things that we can do. So within Easy Game Utility, again, this is this really is a handy program that I'm constantly adding new features to. So like I said, if you want to help support the program, then thank you for that. I will say thanks now. We now want to go across to the Fix tab. Now within the Fix tab, you're going to see a few different options for other games. We're not interested in any of those options. Now under Custom Game Fixing, we now want to locate the fc24.exe. So go to the location where you installed the game. You can see I've got it here. Select fc24.exe and go open. You now need to select your launcher. So I've got the game in the EA app. You will have three attempts at fixing this game or any game. With the pro version, it's unlimited attempts. What we now need to do is click on attempt fix and EGU Easy Gamer is going to try and fix the issues that we're having. It's going to run through a few different troubleshoot methods. And then once it's finished, it's then going to try and launch the game. And with a bit of luck, it would have resolved the problem that I'm having. So you can see there, it's going through now. If it doesn't launch the game, it still would have done those methods, just then launch the game manually. But I can see right now my cursor here, it's loading. Um, you can't see it because it just stopped, which means that it is now starting to launch launch the game you just need to give it a few minutes or whatever so go and grab a coffee or something while it's doing that and there we go my screen's gone black and there's fc24 so hopefully that would have fixed the issue that you're having i'm just going to alt f all that now if that didn't help then the next thing that we want to do is change our power plan so we need to open up the start menu and type in control panel you now need to change the few by to small icons and you're then looking for the power options you need to select high performance power plan. So you can see that I do actually have the ultimate performance power plan selected. If you want this option, which will help improve the performance in the game, then I will pop a link in the description below. Also on EGU, I am in the process under tweaks, adding a load of different tweaks, as you can see there, one of them being enabling the ultimate power plan, but that will only be for pro users. So just an FYI for that. 
Anyway, so once you've changed the power plan to either high performance or ultimate performance, again, try the game again and see if that helped, as believe it or not, changing the power plan can resolve many problems with game crashes. If that wasn't the issue, then the next thing that you want to do is open up File Explorer and go to your Documents folder. So you now need to find the FC24 folder and right click on this and go rename and then just add CS to the end of it and then just press enter on your keyboard. Once you've renamed that folder, so this is the folder that contains all your like save data and things like that. That's why we've not deleted the folder, we've just renamed it. Now once you've done that, go ahead again and launch the game and see if that helped as there could be a setting or something in there that you configured which was causing the issue. So again with Easy Game Utility, I know I keep bringing this up about the program, but you can find config file locations and save data and stuff like that for all sorts of games that I'm constantly updating and also clear junk files, but you do need the pro version for that. Anyway, so now is a good time for me to quickly add as well. If none of the methods in this video help you out, then I will also pop a link in the description below to a guide that I will do, which I will add more methods to um, to help you fix FC24 that I didn't add in this video. Once you've done that, and if that didn't help, then you now need to click on the address bar and do the percentage symbol and type local app data and then the percentage symbol and press enter on your keyboard. Now once you're in this folder, all you need to do is simply go back to the app data folder and go to Roman and we're now looking for the electronics arts folder. You now need to right click on this folder and go rename and just add CS to the end and then just press enter or click anywhere. Now once you've done that, go ahead again and try FC24 and see if that helped resolve the problem that you're currently having with the game. If that didn't help, then the next thing that we need to do is just completely close down File Explorer and you now need to ensure that you do not have anything else running on your computer such as a web browser, a music player, Discord, um, OBS Studio, any overlay programs or FPS monitors anything like that, just close it all down, as they could be conflicting with the game, causing it to crash. So just simply close everything down. And once you've done that, right click on the start menu icon and go to task manager, and then go to users, and just make sure you don't have any other users signed into Windows as well, as that user could also be doing something, running in the background, downloading, or uploading, I don't know, anything that could also be causing the crashing problems. So just close it down, plus it would be hogging up a few resources, which we don't want. We want the game to have maximum resources. This is a good time for me to say to you as well, if you do like this video, subscribe to the channel. Every subscribe really does help me out and I really appreciate it. So the next thing that we want to do is close down Task Manager and you now need to also, if you've overclocked any of your hardware, remove those overclock settings. So that also includes if you've enabled XMP in the BIOS. These settings and stuff can sometimes also cause crashing problems. So go ahead only if you know how to, remove all overclock settings in the BIOS and wherever else you've done it on your computer. Once you've done that, Try launching the game again, and hopefully that would have been the issue. Well, or hopefully not, because you want to have those overclock settings applied, obviously. But at least you know what's causing the issue, and then you can figure out what you can do to fix it. Now, I don't know where you purchased the game from, but the next thing that you're going to want to do is open up the launcher where you installed the game. So you now need to find FC24 in your game library, and you then need to click on the three dots. So on the EA app, I need to click on the three dots, sorry, and then go repair. And this is now going to repair any game files that have problems. So it's going to search for those corrupted or missing game files. That's how you do it in the EA app. Now, if you're using the Epic Games Launcher, this is also very easy to do, which I'll show you now. In the Epic Games Launcher, just simply go to your library, find the game. So I'm going to use this game as the example. Click on the three dots, go to manage and then click on verify button next to verify files. So I will now also show you how to do this in Steam. In Steam, again, go to your library. Once you're in your games library, find the game in this list here. So I'm gonna use 10 Second Ninja there. Right click on it and go to properties, 
and then go to installed files and you then need to click on verify integrity of game files and this then again going to check if any of the game files are corrupted or missing. Once this is finished, once you've checked the files, go ahead and try and launch FC24 again and see if that resolved the problems that you'll have it. Now, if it didn't, then I will pop a link in the description below, which I will add more methods to if, or, you know, if I think of any more or that I didn't add to this video. So it's definitely worth checking out that guide. If you did enjoy the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next one.